Okay, so this is part one of how to make some thingy. So first of all, what's really important is that your screen actually is broken and your whole laptop isn't broken. Because if it is, then you're in real deep. So what you should do is turn it on first to make sure that it's only your display that's broken. So usually you'll have a characteristic little point of impact, but other than that, your thing turns on and the computer itself is fine. Really the problem is just the display. So first thing you do is you need tools. You probably need something like this in order to grab a sticker later on. You might need a little card in order to pry open your case. And then you will need a screwdriver with a pretty fine tip in order to remove the screws that are in there. Okay, let us begin. Okay, so first what you do is you take off the case. On this particular model and in these models, there are no screws. So that's totally fine. All you have to do is go around the sides and pop it open. So usually it's pretty tight, but if you can fit your fingernails underneath just to get a little hole, and then what you can do is use your credit card to put it in the sides to pry it open. I've already opened this one a couple of times, so it's fairly loose. But you just go around the sides and take off the screen like this. And the first time you do this, there will probably be some tape um, that kind of resembles this around the edges, uh, just because that's the way that uh, the manufacturer, the original manufacturer does it. But don't worry if there's tape, um, it's just normal. So once you have this lifted off, there will probably be a little bit of tape here at the bottom exposing this motherboard, this circuit board, motherboard. Um, you could either lift that off um, if it gets in the way of unscrewing the screws, or you could leave it if it's not too bad. So the important thing is that you take your screwdriver and unscrew the four screws that are in the corners here, 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 and here. I've already done it just for the sake of the video, but they're very small. They're about this size and they're similar to the ones um, inside the computer as well. If you, for example, replace one of your fans, things like that. So once you've done this, you've unscrewed all of these, all you have to do now is just take off the screen, put it in the back, and on the back of this, there will be a little um, connector for the motherboard itself. And what you have to do is take off this little sticker. You can use your prying tool. Uh, first, I actually went under it with my nail. And then because it was a little hard to grab, I just grabbed the sticker by this. It's actually connected to this important cable that goes into your board itself. So make sure that you don't do too much damage to this cable here. So lift up the sticker and very carefully remove this cable from the board itself. So it just looks like this and just put this to the side for now. And now without too much difficulty, you can remove your entire cover from your display. There might be a little bit of glue remaining here, but that's not a big problem. You can just remove it. And then here's your old display. You can probably see some of the characteristic flaws on it. Um, if you hold it up into the light a certain way, you will see the, the lines where it's faulty, but then you can just discard this. So you come in with your new display, which is for my particular case, it's a glossy display. Make sure you're very careful with this because you don't want the same cracks to happen with this particular screen as well. So first thing you should do is lay it very carefully flat and connect this connector. So the same way you were careful in removing it, you should be very careful in attaching it again. And make sure it's properly attached at both sides until you hear that kind of satisfying click. You can also check there you go, there's the click. And then you could just fold the sticker back on like that, no problem. Just lift it up and attach it to the 
four mounting little holes here. So there are little black pins up here and on each of the corners where the screen will rest even if you don't necessarily have it screwed in. So then you take all of your little screws and screw those in one by one. Don't tighten it too tight because you are susceptible to actually crack your screen if you do it too too tight. So just do it enough so that um, you feel that it's tightening a little bit when you thread it inside, but not so tight that that you're ripping into it. So do this very delicately and make sure that again it the screws and the little black caps are aligned. There you go. Okay. Remove some of the glue and the tape that was there before. And then finally all you have to do is pop your display back in. Start with the corners, just so it, it's properly lined and then slowly work your way around, making sure that you see that it's flush with the outer case, and you also hear the satisfying click every time. If you're unsure, ask your girlfriend who will point out where you have missed some of these clicks. Okay, great, so. Well, there you go. Perfect, that's the last one. Okay, so then final check. Turned it on, make sure it's still running. You'll probably get some startup screen like this just because uh, the display was removed. Click enter, and there you go. You have a whole new display, perfectly functioning without any cracks and all that good stuff. So you see, you saw before, lots of cracks here. Now it's perfectly new and good stuff.